my friends. Welcome to God Focus this morning. The title of today's episode, Finding Our Peace. In an ever-changing world full of noise, it gets even harder to find our peace. But God's beauty is all around us, and all it takes is a walk in the woods or by a lake to feel His presence. It is nice sometimes to have a peaceful, quiet place to get alone with God. In the still of the evening as the sun sets, it is like He whispers, I am here and I am listening. God is always listening. Imagine waiting all day for your child to stop and take a time to talk with you. And every day you say, thanks for everything you did. Please give me this. I need that. Good night. I've been guilty many times of the hit and run prayers. But I'm trying to slow down and soak in the beauty of God's presence. I don't even have to be at the beach at sunset or walking by a quiet stream. Sitting quietly alone in my recliner with my eyes shut, listening for his still small voice to talk to me, works on a rainy, chilly November day. I say, I trust you, Lord. The evening news is scary, but I know you will take care of your people. Then I listen again, waiting for him to speak to me. Although I do not hear an audible voice, he speaks to my heart and I feel peace surround me. It is like a warm hug by a fire. Zephaniah 3 and 17, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. This verse reminds us to find comfort in the presence of God. Thinking about a baby in its mother's arms, it sleeps in perfect peace. It doesn't care about the economy or rumors of war. It doesn't worry about its next meal or that it has a roof over its head. It just rests in the safety of its parents' arms. This is how we need to be, not allowing worry, fear, or anxiety to overtake us, but to rest in his presence and find peace in his arms. He will watch over us. We have to trust that he will take care of us. Think about what all God has done for his people over the years. He protected them from from a great flood. He set them free from Egypt by destroying their enemy. He proved who he was on Mount Carmel when Elijah prayed fire down from heaven. He took an army of 300 men and Gideon and defeated a massive army. He caused Jehoshaphat's enemies to destroy each other before he reached the battlefield. He sent Abraham a sacrifice of a ram to spare Isaac, giving Abraham insight as to what God must be feeling when he sent his son Jesus to die for all of us. He made an incredible way for us to be free from our enemies. Why should we worry? Why should we fear? Jesus is always near and waiting for us to curl up in the peace and safety of his arms. It doesn't matter what things look like. We have to walk by faith and rely on our God to supply what we need. Everything we need can be found in him. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a wonderful day.